Karate's Crossing. Now, I know I haven't been online, on, haven't done any videos for a little while, but I just wanted to share with you my little treasure I bought yesterday. Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. Oh, my good, my goddess, my goodness. This is a deck I recommend for all those that wish to have an oracle deck. This is beautiful. The energy, the words, the messages, um, the love you can see that's been put into this deck by the artist and by Kyle is just beautiful. Um, the artist is um, Lily Moses. And I totally recommend this deck. It is beautiful. The messages are gorgeous. It comes in a beautiful little box. Um, the book is absolutely stunning. Now, totally in English. And it's 109 pages. 109 pages. So, each page is beautiful. Is well written. There is, let's have a look, there's a little bit about introduction to the cards of course, how to use your Keepers of the Light Oracle cards, the deck explained, so the Angels, Ascended Masters, Goddesses and Gods and Twin Flames. Um, creating a relationship with your deck, a prayer ritual to bond with your deck, free will, the Laws of Attraction, Approaching with Integrity, Conducting Oracle Readings, Raising the Vibration, Shuffling the Cards, Reading for Yourself, Reading for Another Person, Suggested Spreads, we've got a two-card spread, two-card cross, or the Life Path Spread, Asking and How to Ask Questions. Um, three card questions, one card questions, jumping cards, reversed cards, and just have fun. And then you've got interpretations of the cards. So you have, um, like this one here is Archangel Michael. don't know if you can, if you can see that clearly. So here we've got Archangel Michael with Trusting Heaven. You are safe. Angels, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to to occur. A little bit about um, Archangel Michael and then the extended message. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. It's a great little book with the different um, messages for each card. So like I said, there's 109 pages in this beautiful little book. So now let's, now we've had a look at the book and we've looked at the box, which I love these little boxes. Now, I do actually have a thing where I always keep my cards in a little pouch. It just protects them, makes sure they don't get um, damaged in any way. Um, it just keeps them in case I want to grab them to go out somewhere, nice and easy. Um, and you know your cards are protected. Okay, so that's just for me, and it's nice and light. And I don't need the book. Um, sometimes it's nice to have a look at the book for further messages. But these cards are so gorgeous. Let's do a shuffle. Okay, for me I like to one, two, three, breathe in, breathe it out. Okay, what messages do we have for us for today? Oh, one of the cards actually flipped out. So shall we have a look at that one? There. Yeah. And today's card is Mahatvata. Mahatvata, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, Babaji, and it's called Soul Expansion. Oops, let's see if we can get a nice view of that card. Isn't that just stunning? Just beautiful, the energy, the vibration, that card. And the message is, your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. So, it's, so this message is all about how you and yourself and the way you're doing meditation, you're working with your cards, um, maybe you've been doing something a bit, you're doing some yoga, you're doing something that really allows you to feel like you have expanded in your self-awareness, your connection, you might be doing crystals, runes, um, scrying, anything that's going to 
um, work with your soul on a really, really deep, deep level. And it feels like that you're starting to understand the connections between all things. So you're understanding the connection between you and everyone else around you, you and the plants, you and crystals, you and um, trees, you and animals, maybe connection between you and animals and the connection between animals and plants and what's going on in the universe and how we're all connected, um, soul with our soulmates, our twins, our twin souls, twin flames, all those connections are really, really important to connect within yourself. It's about opening your heart to um, new possibilities, to what's going on. So isn't that just stunning? So now you've had a look, we've done a little thing there. Let's see if we'll do three cards. See what the next three cards are. Whoops. One. That was me being clumsy, I think. Two. That flew out. Three. Right. Let's get this one here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's have a look. We've got Kelly Ma. I love this goddess. I work with this goddess quite a lot in um, different aspects when um, needing to destroy the things that I'm holding on to. It allows me to feel nurtured and protected and ready for the new. So this is talking about facing your fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So like I said, for Kali Ma is all about... Um, looking at what you can destroy, what you can get rid of in your life, that fear that's holding you back, and then you're ready to create something new. I love that. Next card we have is Horus. Okay, it's the Cosmic Gateway card. Isn't it stunning? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, Horus talks about your thoughts are energetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So it sounds like there's a lot of stuff as you start to expand in your awareness that the changes and the shifts and things are coming quite strongly. You can face your fear. You can move through new gateways. And fear comes with places and phases and cycles. You can see there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Phases and cycles. So Freya talks about there's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So again, you've got that whole thing that's happening, there's changes you're leaving behind in the past, new stuff coming in. So really strong message for the weekend, if you like. Um, it sounds like there'll be a lot of work involved with this as um, things start to um, happen. I mean, you can just see the beauty in um, these cards and the messages of soul expansion, facing your fear, cosmic gateway, cycles and phases, phases and cycles. So you can see the messages are really strong. They're just gorgeous. The back on these cards are lovely. You can see. There. So I just feel like the energy and the vibration. And you want to see more of these cards? Well, come back and see me again when I do another reading using these cards another time. Take care and blessed be from Hikate Crossing with Kyle Gray's Keeper of the Light Oracle Deck. Totally recommend everyone go out, purchase your own deck. Definitely go purchase your own deck of Keepers of the Light. And have a check out of um, Kyle's books, his um, other deck, his angel deck. There's his energy. Go and check out his videos, his YouTube channel. 
he shares so much love and so much light. Totally, this is my recommendation for today, for this week. Please support Kyle in his, in his journey. He's amazing. I love him. Just awesome. Take care and blessed be.